It's time to talk about world generation, one of the most important aspects of any voxel world. Now, how can we create voxel worlds where everything is random the more you move out from where you generate it? We can do this by using a method called Perlin Noise. Now, Perlin Noise is a gradient noise developed by Ken Perlin in 1983, to which it kind of looks like TV static shown here. Now, there's not much being said by this, but we can turn the colors to something that is actually very useful for our terrain. For example, we can have the lighter colors be higher elevation while the the darker colors be lower elevation. Also, certain noise values can return the value from negative one and one, which can use a scale factor up to the max height limit. Now, all we have to do is start from the height map and then iterate down, just like as you see, assign the block types and layer with different noise values. This is where we can add like different stuff like ore generation and even custom blocks that are being generated at different Y layers. Start to play around a little bit with using 3D noise. As you can see, it looks really cool with all the floating islands and stuff. We can take things a little step further by using open simplex noise, which is a enhanced version of Perlin noise. Instead of using a grid-like shape, we can use a honeycomb pattern that is more cubic. This right here gives us a more realism terrain and plus a smooth transition in our voxel engine when chunks align with each other. Now, as you can see in my noise function, we have the generated open simplex noise, which is going to be 3D noise as we can put in three input values and a seed. I do plan on in the future to have the height limit to be infinite, such as infinite caves, maybe having infinite features the more deeper you go down. For right now, the height limit is 400 blocks. Next, I started to notice my chunks were loading in pretty slow due to the iteration of the train generation. So I came up with a simple diagram that I thought was easy to implement until I figured out that I needed more experience in multi-threading. After some nights of pain, I was able to come up with an efficient algorithm. For example, the code on the screen shows how I generate chunks based off of a range from where the player's position. Then finally, after when the chunk is built, it'll flag it for its data has been generated and it will send it off to the meshing thread. And at the end, the meshing thread only looks for chunks that already have their data implemented and if they already have six chunks all around them in order to generate the mesh. Then finally, the meshes are extracted from the meshing thread once the thread is finished. If it also is open to a LAM world, it will check around the player's view, axing the host for chunks, and they will add it towards the meshing thread once again. All right, everyone, that does everything in this video. I hope you guys learned something new on how I generate my chunks for my voxel engine as well as inspiration for your guys's game engines i will have a link in the description towards all the articles that i've covered as well to make sure to check out my previous dev vlog if you guys are interested all right have a good one